Hello. This is new. <laughs> um, I'm not one to normally get in front of the camera. I'm not one I haven't got behind a microphone in a very long time, but it's something that I've wanted to do for uh, quite a while now, to be honest. Um, if you don't know, my name is Joel, and I run a website called Lion Minded, based in South Wales. What Lion Minded started off as, where it really birthed, was a place for parents to come and help them normalise that parenting can be pretty tough. Especially if you've got a predetermined mental health problem or something that comes up while you're parenting. It can be pretty tough and it can be pretty hard to find help and understanding with that. Because a lot of support parents can get is just more well, we had to do it, so you got to do it. It's that attitude, and that's not something we wanted to bring to the table. Something we wanted to fix. Everyone has their own troubles. Everyone has their own problems, and with parenting, it can. When you're not sleeping, you're looking after a new life. You're learning every day. It's it's difficult. So that's where it started, but. The mental health sort of region is something that I've I've been interested in since I was a teenager, and something like lion minded has always been in the pipeline for me. Maybe not with parenting, but with um, any sort of mental health problem. I found a piece of paper in a book a couple of weeks ago that pretty much outlined everything that I'm doing now. And this was wrote, I wrote that about 10 years ago as a plan for what I wanted to do. And it, it's something that's come into fruition. So yeah, my name's Joel. I run Lion Minded. And that's how it started. But it has moved on to lots of different things. We run support groups. We run um, coffee mornings. And we do a series on our website called Starting the Conversation, which I talk to a lot of um, my friends and people of interest, and I talk to them about their mental health problems, I talk about normalizing it, I talk about what they're doing in their lives, and it's one of my favorite things to do. I love hearing these stories and being able to share them with other people. I've I've got a lot of amazing friends. I've got a lot of um I know a lot of amazing people. And when I sit down and have a chat with them, like when we go for a cup of tea or go for food, when we talk, I always get interesting perspectives and I get I learn a lot from them. I learn a lot from these stories. And that is why I wanted to start starting the conversation. But I didn't know enough about cameras and I didn't feel confident enough in talking to um, do it as I really wanted to do it. So we did it as text-based for a while. And no one really wants to sit down and read a long text conversation about someone you don't, you don't know. And that makes sense to me. It was never how I ideally planned to do it. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted to get in front of a camera with my friends and talk about what they have been through, how they handle it, how they cope, and how they go from there. So that's what I'm going to be doing with this series. I want to, um, I want to learn things from them, and I want to share that learning with you guys. And I, I've already got quite a few really good guests lined up. People that I call my friends, people that I love dearly, um, and hopefully we can get some good conversations across for you guys. 
little teaser. We've got um, a few guests lined up. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. We've got um, my mate Seeb, who has been an incredible supporter of Lion Minded over the last year. He's been to all the mon- the morning coffee mornings we do. We do the men's health one. We do parenting ones. Uh, we hold them at Pearls in Swansea. It's great, great, great coffee shop. Cafe. Uh, but they've survived COVID so far. They've survived um, the lockdowns and they're doing amazing. And I can't wait to get back in there and bring them extra custom. Bring Because they, they do amazing work, especially for the parents of Swansea. Uh, Seb has been to all of them and he's just uh, he's in some really interesting place now with talking about his mental health and he started his own website and blog about um, he's training to be a pilot which is pretty fucking awesome um, but yeah I, I've got some good guests I've got some good guests as well as Seb we've got hoping and well I'm hoping to get the boys in my band in I'm also hoping to get um, a very, very old friend of mine, Dr. Abigail T, who is a child psychologist, and I would love to get some questions to ask her, because I know a lot of people, you know, could really benefit from that, and I, th- I think that would be a really good, good episode. I've got friends who have overcome some pretty grim times lately I've got people who are becoming parents I, I, I know people who are doing some amazing single parenting and there's, there's a lot of there's a lot of stories to be told and I'm excited to get them out there like it, it's okay to be a parent and to be sad it's okay to be a parent and not want to parent sometimes it's easy to be told oh you chose to become a parent so it's what you need to do but it's never that easy and I think it's important to normalise that and it's something I, that is a big part of Lion Minded okay so let's talk about 2020 it's been a bit of a year isn't it <laughs> uh, the last time I did anything with Lion Minded really um, we, we were doing the, the mental health mornings we went right up until lockdown on those. Uh, was, but as soon as we were told it wasn't safe, it had to happen. We were going to do some stuff over lockdown, but we started uh, lockdown with trying to homeschool. We, I've got two kids. I live with my wife, Sarah, and we've got Rory, who has just turned four, and Ace, who has just turned two. And the kids are complete polar opposites of each other they're both incredible in their own way Rory is a whirlwind he doesn't stop running or talking or anything (laughs) he even sleepwalks he sleep talks his brain never turns off and Ace is a quiet little cuddler who uh, is incredibly smart He's already singing the alphabet and singing all these songs and he knows his numbers, he recognises numbers and letters. He's incredible little boy. They both are. And homeschooling them and trying to look after myself and my wife's mental health during the start of lockdown was pretty tough. Um, so I didn't do much with Lion Minded. I didn't do as much as I wanted to do over lockdown because I couldn't commit I couldn't commit to posting on social media all the time and keeping the algorithm up it's it's tough to to do stuff like that and keeping people enthralled while you're 24-7 with your kids for six months it was hard but I've been working on some pretty cool ideas including this I've I'm also in a band, and during lockdown, the three of us have basically we we did we recorded two demos, basically through WhatsApp groups. 
he said the lyrics, said the videos of different uh, parts we wanted to play, and we did two demos that we released, and we're going to be taking them into the studio soon and recording them full. But a lot of the topics we touched on in those songs were uh, coping mechanisms and being stuck in a rut and um, that sort of how empty things felt during lockdown I suppose and we we want to go from there and, and make a decent album out of it I hope I'm, I'm hoping but during that time I needed to record my bass lines and stuff at home so I cleared out this little studio area and I got my drum kit and my bass and my guitars and my amps and everything here and I thought if I've got all these microphones here and I've got the cameras let's do the start in the conversation podcast I've always wanted to do so this is episode one and it's with me and we're going to talk about anything I can I have very big anxiety with talking um I get a stutter when I'm anxious, which I'm a bit embarrassed about sometimes, and it's a stutter physically. And I also struggle to remember words when I'm anxious as well. So this is this is a bit awkward sometimes for me because I'm trying to get out of my uh, comfort zone and do the things I've wanted to do. So as well as the band, Katie Knows My Name, which I'm hoping to get the boys on for one of these episodes, because they've got some really unique perspectives, and we've already spoken to Chris, the singer and guitarist, on the text-based version of um, starting the conversation. We've talked to him about his religious ideals, his self-made business he he was doing, and he's a really incredible guy I've known for years and years and years. So go read that as a nice little prerequisite for the KD Knows My Name episode that'll come on with this podcast soon, I hope. As well as pushing myself with the podcast and make myself do that because I am one of those people who be like, I need the perfect time. I need to wait for the perfect time to do this and I will wait years and there isn't a perfect time. That's something you gotta learn sometimes. So, getting to the point where I'm pushing myself to do this. Like, I, I walked around this room for, like, 20 minutes before I sat down and hit record because I was like, I can't do this. I can't do this. But we're going to see what happens. We're going to record it, and we're going to... If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So, we're trying with this. And the other thing we're going to try with that I've been really wanting to do for a long time is um, selling merchandise to raise money for charities. Last year we did a really good raffle with Lion Minded. Um, We raised money for Mental Health Mental Health Foundation and we held the first tea morning which we continued for a couple months after. That's where that started. Um, We raised it was close to £200. Uh, A lot of local businesses helped and it was a really good really good feeling to help out charity and to put my energy into something that actually was worthwhile. So what I've been working on over the summer of 2020 is uh, a similar thing. I've got some friends who are amazing designers. and I, I love design myself. I've been designing stuff for years. And we're putting together some t-shirts, some items, of working with different charities to raise money. The first one I will... We got the design. I spoke to the CEO of the charity in in question. Um, and they've approved the design. They're all happy for us to sell the t-shirts. I might do something else with, with the design as well. Maybe some prints or something. Uh, but yeah, I'm just working with the t-shirt manufacturer now to get something ready and then we'll start some pre-orders and hopefully make some money. And we've also got the second design nearly ready to raise for a different charity. And I want to... And if I want to move Lion Minded in 
direction that I want to move it, I want to make some merchandise for myself as well. Because the charity stuff, I'll take no cut of at all. Neither will designer. I think the t-shirt manufacturers will obviously need to. But um, any money goes... As soon as it's past merchandise... Merchandise? As soon as it's past the creation stage and postage, then all extra money goes straight to the charity. But I want to do some stuff to kind of raise the lion-minded bank a little bit just to pay for the coffee mornings and stuff like that. So just try and expand things. That's something I'm really excited to do. So I, put, I might put some stuff out there and if you like it, you know, I really appreciate it. So yeah, I know um, 2020 has been a pretty difficult year for a lot of people uh, with sickness and jobs and the whole political climate of the world right now. It can add a lot of pressure. Um, I hope you guys are doing okay. I really do. I think everyone's had their struggles. I've definitely had mine. It can be pretty important to turn off sometimes. And really... um, It's important to try and stay on top of the news. Like, in my head, I feel... I, I need to stay on top of the news. I need to watch what's going on. But at the same time, it's good to turn off and get out of that bubble. Because it's a pretty big bubble right now. So that is where I'm at right now. And I'm ready to relaunch Lion by Did in the way I always wanted to run it. I think I got too bogged down with waiting for the perfect moment. Waiting for things to be right. Too much thinking, not enough talking. Too much thinking, not enough action. And I'm ready to to really really give the product that I'm I'm ready to really give what I've always wanted to do a try. And that is this. And hopefully from there we'll go on and we'll get lion minded to where I've always wanted it to be. I've got some I've always had really big big plans for it. Um bigger than I could ever see actually happening but I won't get there with that attitude will I? <laughs> so thank you for listening to the first episode of Starting the Conversation podcast make sure you go over to lionminded.co.uk make sure you go follow us on Instagram and on Facebook and I really hope you're having a good day I really do And if you're not having a good day, stick in there, because it'll get better. I love you and I'm out. Out